Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Masi Chess Game by Gary Kasparov. And this chess game happened in 1978, when Kasparov was a young man, and his opponent, Vera Mishik, was a chess grandmaster who is playing with the white pieces, and Kasparov has the black pieces, so this is a notable chess game, but let's check out this chess game from the perspective of Gary Kasparov, as he was playing with the black pieces. So we have d4 and knight to f6 and actually Kasparov is going for the king's Indian defense. He many times he used the king's Indian defense in his chess games and against white's d4 move you can always choose the king's Indian defense especially aggressive attacking chess players like to play the king's Indian defense against white's d4 because it gives black a very good attacking chances especially in the king's side so we have c4, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g4, and we officially have the king's Indian defense. Of course, not in this position, but sometimes if black pushes the d-pawn to d5, that would be the Grunfeld defense, only for the records. So we have f3, and what is this? This is the sameish variation of the king's Indian defense. This is also very popular by white. And in this position, if e5, then exchanging the pawns, exchanging the queens, and knight to g4, and black is doing okay. So we have d6, f3, and Kasparov castled. Bishop to e3, knight to c6, knight from g to e2, rook to b8, and we have queen to d2, pawn up, rook over, rook over, knight back, and pushing the pawn, and finally Kasparov wants to blast open the center, knight to b3, exchanging the pawns, and this is one of the interesting moments of this chess game. Well, Gary Kasparov pushed the d-pawn, and is this a pawn sacrifice? Well, white captured the pawn, but of course, you already know this, but if capturing away from the center, that is a disaster because of knight takes on d4 and the bishop is pinned so queen takes on d4 and what would what would you do in this position if you had the black pieces of course the move is very simple then knight to g4 and they said discover attack to the queen the bishop is pinned after let's say defending the queen capturing the bishop and that is all over for white that's losing a piece so in this position we have d5, c takes on d5, not capturing away from the center, but capturing towards the center. And is this losing a pawn? Well, Gary Kasparov captured the pawn, knight takes on d5, what a move. Still, black haven't castled, and if your opponent's king haven't castled, pushing the e-pawn, and sometimes pushing the d-pawn, is a good idea. So knight takes on d5, but now knight takes on d5, and white didn't capture the knight. White played bishop to c4. Slashing, dashing, attacking chess game already by Kasparov. But in this position, if bishop takes on d4, then queen takes knight. The pawn is pinned. And we have this continuation. Bishop takes on g7, queen takes queen, rook takes on d2, capturing the bishop, and actually black is doing okay. And this is also a possibility. White is also doing fine. But in the real chess game we have knight takes on d4. Developing the bishop, not capturing the knight. And not allowing queen takes knight. And this time probably white is threatening to capture the knight. Because defending the knight. So Kasparov pushed the pawn. c5. Defending. a3. Bishop out. And white castled. Pawn up. Bishop back. Pawn up. Bishop goes to c4 again. Exchanging the pawns. And rook to b2 by Gary Kasparov. Another beautiful move. Stunning tactics by Gary Kasparov. But we have queen to d2. What happens if capturing the rook? If queen takes... If queen takes on b2, then knight takes on f3 and that's a discover attack to the queen 
So let's say rook takes knight, bishop takes on b2, and this is all over for white. So in this position, capturing the rook is not possible. That's out of the questions. So we have queen to d3 and queen to a5, queen in, attacking the rook, defending the rook, exchanging the rooks, attacking the rook again, Kasparov captured the rook, bishop takes on d2 and queen to a4, Kasparov is planning to visit the king with the queen, so bishop back, defending, a5, h3, h5, h4 and king to h7, king to h2 and queen back, bishop to f4 and queen to b7 by Gary Kasparov, planning to visit on b2, so queen to d2 defending, but this time we have queen to b1, bishop to d6, it looks like white is attacking the c pawn, Kasparov push to a pawn, and we have bishop to d3, but in this position actually, I believe in this position if capturing this pawn, the a pawn, then knight takes on f3 is a possibility, because if capturing the knight, then queen check, and also attacking the bishop, I don't know, I'm just saying, uh, maybe that's a possibility, capturing this pawn with the knight is a possibility, so not touching this pawn. Kasparov pushed the pawn, but we have bishop to d3. What happens if capturing the pawn? Then we have this deep calculation, forking the queen and the bishop, and if capturing the knight, creating a pass pawn. So queen to b4, and then bishop takes knight, checking the king, capturing, checking, and as you can see, this is losing for black, for white, sorry. So black is winning easily. And okay, let's get back to this position. We have a4, bishop to d3, queen to b3, knight to c7, pushing the pawn, and this bad boy is advancing. Knight takes on e6, Kasparov wants his knight on d4, this knight is much better on d4, capturing, bishop back, c3, the bad boy is marching, that's a problem child, what now? Okay, so defending, but now, c2 by Gary Kasparov, the pawn is advancing, bishop back and defending, so Kasparov could play it, queen to b1 and threatening to push the pawn, so defending with the bishop, but now Kasparov is creating another very dangerous pass pawn with capturing the a pawn. The a pawn is also going to march all the way to the end. So bishop to c4, attacking the bishop, bishop goes back, attacking again, defending the bishop. Kasparov played the move and white resigned. White throw in the towel. So what would you do in this position if I give you a few seconds? Can you guess the next move of Gary Kasparov? Well, actually, pushing the a-pawn is probably also winning for black, but there is a smashing, crushing move by Gary Kasparov, and after that move, white has no good defense, and after the next move, next knockout punch by Gary Kasparov, white resigned. So let me give you a few seconds, just three seconds maybe, to pause the video if you need. One, two, and three. Okay, so in this position, Gary Kasparov captured on f3 with the knight. That's check. If not capturing the knight, this is forking the king and the queen and losing the queen. So, well, white resigned in this position. If capturing the knight, then pushing the pawn, check. And moving the king, checking the king, checking again, and then check, mate. There is no defense for white. What a smashing, crushing, dashing, slashing chess game by Gary Kasparov. Incredible chess game from 1978. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. So this was the last move of this chess game. Uh, capturing the pawn. Knight takes on f3 was the last move. And after this move, white. White resigned. White said, enough is enough. 
That's all she wrote. Because if capturing the knight, pushing the pawn, that's check. And black has two queens and white is getting checkmated. If not capturing the knight, this is forking the king and the queen. So, beautiful aesthetic finish by Gary Kasparov. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games. Bye bye.